Let's take a look at this problem, taken from the Brazil National Mathematical Olympiad 2010. It says, find all functions f that maps the set of real numbers to itself, such that for all a, b that are irrational numbers, f of a, b equals to f of a plus b. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a very unconventional um, functional equation because uh, for most of the time we only have to deal with the fact that f is mapping say from reals to reals say in this case reals to reals or uh, natural numbers to natural numbers but there is a very special condition in this problem is that this equation only applies to um, numbers that are irrational irrational okay this is even stranger than um, only restricting to uh, rational numbers because for rational numbers we know that by definition those are numbers that can be written in the form of a fraction okay and so we can always say replace a equals p by q something like that but not now because we are talking about irrational numbers just those numbers that cannot be written in the form of fractions so um, the next question that comes to my mind is what could be a possible function that satisfy this equation the only thing that um, I could think, ever think of, of is um, a constant function. Okay, this will obviously work because then both sides will simply equal to that particular constant. So the next, uh, the next thing I have to do is to really show that um, constant functions are the only possible solutions to this functional equation. So um, one way to do this is to just some random ideas is whether f of any number will equal to f of some fixed number say 0 okay the only thing that's um, 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 so-called the most symmetric uh, number in along the um, real number line so maybe we should show that f of any number is simply equals to f of 0 so I'm going to erase this. So the draft I'm actually going to write is f of 0. Okay. So I'm going to divide, it into, divide this into two cases. The first case is that f of irrationals equals f of 0 and f of rationals instead because we, on, we could only... Um, put in irrational numbers into this equation. So it's very natural for us to um, separate into these two cases. So here comes my solution. Is that first claim is that we're going to do this first, the first one and then the second one. Okay, so the first the first part is that we have to take any irrational x okay then we know that the square root of x is uh, not rational as well of course we have to specify that x is positive because otherwise uh, square root of that is sim uh, it's not even real then square root of x is also irrational well that's pretty obvious because if the square root of that number is rational then surely the square of that number, which is x itself, should also be rational. So now, root x is also irrational, then I can safely put root x into, the fun into that function equation. Then, put a equals b equals to root of x would give us f of x equals, or I should say, um, it's not both equal, but there are some differences, is that if a is root x, and b is minus root x, then f of root x minus root x would equal to f of minus x. So f of minus x is then equal to f of 0. So we have quickly constructed something that is equal to f of 0. And because such um, the rational x is, um, is arbitrary, okay, given that it's positive, it's arbitrary. So therefore, we know that f of any or I should say, for any um, 
A that is irrational with A is negative, then F of A is simply equal to F of zero. Okay, all the all such irrational numbers, okay, um uncountably infinitely many of them would all just goes to one single value f of zero okay so um, that's good progress now I'm going to uh, go to some other numbers as well is that if I take both a and b to be minus root of x again that a uh, positive irrational number then f of minus two roots of x is then equal to f of x but because this number, the one I highlighted in yellow, is a negative number and it's also irrational, so basically satisfying this part, okay, this line, and so that that side should equal to f of zero as well. So f of x equals f of zero, and so now we've even shown that for any irrational a with a is positive, then f of a is also f of zero. So even more irrational numbers now go to f of zero. Basically, all numbers, all irrational numbers would equal to f of zero. So we are all good. Now the final part is to show that any rational number would give uh, f of zero as well. If we have that, then basically all numbers would go into one. All um. All numbers in in the in in the reuse, okay. After um undergoing the fun this function f would all just go to one single value, which is f of zero. Okay, so that would that would show that f is constant. So the last part is that for any uh, rational number q, I can just simply take a equals um root 2 and then b equals uh, q minus root 2 okay then a plus b is equal to q is rational and a b equals to q root 2 minus 2 okay now minus 2 is rational but q is a rational number when it multiplies by root 2 then it surely is irrational Okay, then and, and of course it cannot be zero, right? So, um, as as is uh, indeed irrational. Then, f of q equals to f of q root two minus two, and this number is also equal to f of zero. So basically, all rational numbers would also quickly go, um, uh, be equal to uh, f of zero. So therefore, basically for all real numbers f of x equals to f of 0. Okay, therefore, uh, constant functions work. Okay, any constant function will work. And of course, we can check when f of x equals to c some constant c, then f of a, b, would then be equal to c as well together with f of a plus b okay so yay we are done i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments if you like my videos make sure to subscribe to my channel right now thank you for your support see you next time